this video I want to explain something especially to people who feel afraid um, or overwhelmed is maybe the better word um, when I started mapping I started very simple I started with hiking trails the beauty of hiking trails I can show you here on the map let's go on this map this is actually the uh, public transportation map the beauty of hiking trails is for example this trail here it's a complete empty map basically you know there's not not much there there is just some trees and that's it so of course um, you have the elevation profile etc but that doesn't bother you when you're mapping you're doing that in 2d so that's simple but when you start mapping here the first time i started to map something in a city the map itself already looks overwhelming right and this this isn't even half of the data that's available uh, th this is just a fraction what is shown to you uh, when you switch to another layer then you see a different map so it's rendered differently and suddenly you see also here um, addresses steps path footways and uh, it gets even more complicated for example when you open here the the card of the city in JOSM let's actually go into the city here oh wait we are going to file let's let's zoom in here this is really the city center I mean when you look here at the city center I'm looking here at tens of thousands of nodes and um, that this is just information like footways crosswalks um, here here you have curbs you have um, crossings for people, crossings for people with disabilities, um, then all these shops and if you click on a node you suddenly see oh there's more data to it and um, yeah this all looks overwhelming so it might be discouraging this is a mall and um, every node you click on you see here there's definitions but even on a road here, you click on a road, suddenly see, oh, this road is member of what? Oh, member of what? Holy, holy crap, what is that? Well, those are uh, public transportation lines. If you double click on them, suddenly you get a whole list of more information. Uh, but even this is nested again. You can click on parent relations. Suddenly you see, oh, it belongs to a parent relation. To this parent relation, suddenly you see um, different um, connections, different routes that all belong to the same parent relation and I get it this is overwhelming and the nature of human means you are afraid to do something right, wrong because um, well if, if you start uploading data obviously other mappers will see what you are doing uh, if you do things wrong, they will see that. And uh, maybe you, you do something, you ruin a lot of work from someone else. So I get it. It's frightening. And that's, that's just looking at this, how to do the things right. Well, there's a Wikipedia here for OpenStreetMap. And this, this is just the information for public transportation. So it's, it's huge information. The wiki itself, I never counted it. It's tens of thousands of such paper uh, pages where everything is explained. And then you have here specifics, specifics for the Philippines, which are slightly different from the specifics here. And um, yeah, you can go up here. Um, here you have the mapping project. So the page I just showed you it's nested in a whole set of hundreds of papers just for the Philippines and um, they have all these guidelines and data there's also um, legal issues what can you do what can you not do um, I'm not going into that it's overwhelming so I gather people are afraid of making mistakes but here's the thing don't 
the, the beauty of OpenStreetMap is really, if you make a mistake, hey, that's great. No one will, will um, attack you for it, no one will yell at you for it. You know what you get when, when you make mistakes? Here is, is your account. Your account here has an inbox. You can go to my messages. You will get a message there. You will get a message on a change set you committed. Uh, no one will start there ranting at you like, what did you do and you stupid? Uh, this is a part of internet that is not like that. This is not your common social media where it can get very hot and where people uh, get rude and aggressive and uh, uh, there's no accountability for misbehaving. It's not like that. In this community, in OpenStreetMap, we communicate with a lot of people uh, it's usually very friendly. Not always, sometimes it's just very um, uh, correct. Like um, when things are being discussed of which there is no consensus yet, yet and it gets very complicated, even for experienced and seasoned GIS uh, people, experts, uh, things can get complicated and um, then there is no room for friendliness, you just have to be correct. So the discussions then transfer from making fun a little bit in chat, uh, making jokes, that's gone then and then it's uh, stick to the topic, don't deviate from the topic um, and then it's very correct but it's never unfriendly and uh, you make mistakes, great, every mapper make mistakes, even the seasoned mappers when they started 10, 15 years ago, they made mistakes. Uh, yeah, that's also how I, I learned it, I made so many mistakes, I even catch myself even to date making mistakes, so that this, it's human work, we are not paid for it, it's volunteering. Uh, where humans work, even if they get paid for it, we make mistakes. Um, also, sometimes these conventions I showed you, which are here in the Wikipedia, they, they try to keep, keep that up to date. Uh, that might change over time. There's always proposals. Um, usually nothing is being, uh, being ruled out, so even if there's a new proposal, which is then adopted, which does things better, uh, or more detailed according to the community than the previous solution we had for that. You can still use the old solution and no one is going to, uh, to snap at you for that. Yeah, so don't be afraid making mistakes. Don't be afraid, oh, if I do this, maybe I ruin things, maybe I screw up. Hey, that's totally fine. We all did. And, um, you know, when you do mapping, the most important thing for the community is that you just start doing it. it it's really not like, um, like we want you to do things right in the beginning. Of course, you shouldn't uh, fool around deliberately. But if you're just a volunteer or a beginner, even if, if you're studying in the field of GIS and you want to become a professional and, and you like to um, explore the possibilities of OpenStreetMap, hey, by all means, make mistakes. Just start doing it. That, that's what this is all about. Um, we have methods in place to detect vandalism. We have um, methods in place to um, figure out if someone made a mistake or not. Um, just recently I had a discussion with someone who, who I discussed with about mapping, tagging some specifics in water villages. And uh, that went back and forth. Um, in, in the end, well, his point was that he saw my point and, and how I map things. And my, my conclusion was, I understand his point of view, which is different than mine. Um, the interesting thing is both points of view 
how to tag it properly is both okay, nothing is wrong with it, either way. Um, renderers, the people who write the renderers, like the map you're looking at, it's up to them what they do with that. And, um, you know, a street is sometimes mapped as a residential, sometimes as a trunk, sometimes as a track. Obviously, the people who write the renderers, the programmers who do that, they need to deal with all of that, right? So, if people tag um, a similar, a same, or even a different object differently, or in the other way around, if they have the same object and they tag it differently, or if there's a different object but it's tagged the same way still, in either case, the renderer needs to deal with that if that is both the consensus of the community. And um, yeah, we know we also tag things different between countries. So what we do in the Philippines is not necessarily how things are done in, in Germany or in America. There are differences even between countries. Uh, renderers have to deal with that. Um, the standard road has a default maximum speed. Now a renderer needs to know that a road, even if it's the same definition on the map in the Netherlands, has a different speed than that same road in, let's say, uh, the United States of America. Um, so don't be afraid about making mistakes and don't be afraid of thinking Oh, I read this on the wiki, and in America they do things so, and I thought, well, I didn't have any other source, so that's how I did it. But now I notice in the Philippines or in Taiwan, we did it differently. So I did it wrong, actually, for that country. I shouldn't have done that. But it's fine. If, if you make such a mistake, local community there, they will contact you. They will point out these differences. It's totally fine. Just start mapping, and you will be contacted. People will, uh, experienced mappers will contact you and tell you, you can do it like this, you can do it like that, uh, or they will ask you, why did you do that? Because maybe you have a very good reason, you know, if, if you're a local mapper, there's nothing about a local mapper. Um, you know information that people who are 500 or 5,000 kilometers far away, they do not know that. So, from their point of view, they would argue, well, we do it like this on OpenStreetMap, that's the consensus. But then you have a very good argument. You say, but, but locally here, that's not actually quite true. That's not the physical reality on the ground, or it doesn't represent the physical reality on the ground. We do things different here. Things might be different from province to province, even community to community, even. And that's totally fine, so just start mapping. Really, if you're afraid, don't let it hold you back. Start doing it. Um, yeah, at this point I'm going to conclude this video because I really want to stress out. Uh, I notice a lot of people when they start, they're afraid and they say it's overwhelming and they don't do that because it's, they're afraid to make mistakes. Seriously, it's okay. It's okay in this community to make mistakes. Just start doing it. That's, that's what I want to conclude this video with. You should have fun with it, right? It should be fun. It's like a hobby to most of us. And uh, we're not into politics here, so there's no need to fight. Just have fun. Make mistakes, by all means. Make hundreds of them. Learn from them. That's the whole concept. And all I can say in the end is uh, happy mapping. Goodbye.